Hi, my name is Naharika Kakar, and today I'm going to be talking about photosynthesis, plant structure, and plant reproduction. Photosynthesis uses solar energy to produce carbohydrates. Now, the first aspect of a plant that we're going to talk about is the leaf. The leaf has a large surface area because it provides a large base for the sunlight to hit it. The outer layers of the leaf are called the epidermis, and it has a layer of wax on the surface called the cuticle, which protects the leaf from attack and allows it to retain water. Next is the palisade layer, which is just under the surface of the leaf, and this is where most of the photosynthesis takes place. And the spongy cells also carry out photosynthesis, but the spongy cells are more important for gas exchange, as you can tell by the holes. The stomata are present at the bottom surface of the leaf, and they allow for gas exchange. And they are controlled, they're open and closed by their guard cells. Photosynthesis occurs within the chloroplast of cells. So chloroplasts are double membrane structures with an inner fluid called the stroma. Within the stroma are membrane structures called thylakoids, and the inner space of the thylakoid is called the thylakoid space. Stacks of thylakoids on top of each other are called grana, and chlorophyll is the pigment that makes thylakoid green. Next, we're going to talk about the xylem and the phloem tissues within the veins of the plant that carry water and nutrients. Roots anchor the plants and the hairs increase the surface area and allow for more absorption of water. The xylem transports water up and it is made of tracheids and vessel elements. Food from photosynthesis is transported via the phloem, which contains sieve cells and companion cells. Now we're going to begin to break down the different components of the flower. We'll start off with the female component of the flower, which includes a stigma, style, ovule, and ovary. And the stamen of the flower is the male component, and it includes the anther and the filament. The anther makes pollen, which is made up of microspores. And within the ovary is the ovule, which forms megaspores that can divide to form eggs and polar bodies. Now we're going to talk about the steps of plant reproduction. First, pollen falls on the sticky stigma. The pollen then germinates, and a pollen tube grows down the style to connect the ovary. Two sperm from the pollen travel down the pollen tube and enter the ovule where they undergo double fertilization, where one sperm fertilizes the egg and the others with the polar bodies. The fertilized egg is now called a plant embryo and the polar bodies become food storing tissue. The ovule develops into a seed and the ovary into a fruit. The seed eventually develops into a new plant and the cycle begins again. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching.